Welcome to the second part of the checklist demo. In the first part, we saw how to create checklist entries. They were saved by default in the project checklist. In this video, we will see the different types of checklists so that you can manage them more efficiently. If you look at this left pane in the Checklist Manager tab, you can see that there are two checklist sections or levels. Project checklists, which are associated to the XPP file, and personal checklists, that in fact are separate XPCKL files associated to the user session. They will keep appearing in that section in any loaded Xrange project until the user decides to remove or change them. There is no personal checklist loaded here yet. By default, an Xrange project has this project checklist, whose entries will be saved when saving the XPP file. We can associate external checklists to this level. They will be external XBCKL files. For instance, we are now working in an English into Spanish project and we'd like to have a checklist containing some specific translation checks in those languages. We may have created that checklist before for some other project. Now we can import that checklist to this specific Xbench project so that it can benefit from those checks. We right-click on the project checklist section heading and select Add. We choose the XBCKL file we want, Checklist for English into Spanish project. These are all the entries that have been imported and that will be used in the current Xbench project. Here on top, you can see the path to this specific checklist loaded as project checklist. If we make changes to any of these entries, we will be modifying the XBCKL file, not the XBP project itself, and the changes will be automatically saved. The XBCKL files work as independent entities. However, the entries we include in the project checklist, as you saw in the previous video, will be saved when the user saves the XPP file. Since it is the first time we are adding this external checklist in this Xbench project, we need to save the current XPP file to keep this configuration. This checklist contains checks classified as typos. You can sort the checklist items by clicking on the column headings, category, name, these are the columns display information on the source and target fields, the search configuration and the last modification date. By right-clicking on any entry, we can perform any of the actions in the contextual menu. Create a new entry, edit the selected one, test, disable, copy or delete. The test option is interesting because it lets you test the checklist entry in the current project. See how it works. There are no matching results now, but the search configuration has been moved to the Search tab. The external checklists, which are XBCKL files, can also be loaded on our current Xbench project as personal checklists, in the Personal Checklist section. If Spanish is always our target language, for example, we could load a checklist containing Spanish linguistic errors. Again, we right-click on the Personal Checklist heading and click on Add. We choose the appropriate XBCKL file. This checklist will be useful for other English into Spanish projects we need to work on, and it will remain in that section until the user decides to remove it. So, if we open another Xbench project now, this personal checklist will still be there. We can open any checklist entry and see its contents, or even modify them. These changes will be automatically saved in the XBCKL file. The checklists loaded as personal in the Personal Checklist section are external to the XBP file. Note the use of regular expressions, as in this entry. Apostrophe should read apostropho. And with this configuration, we are asking Xbench to find any instances of apostrophe or apostrophes so that we can correct them. The simple angle quotes indicate start and end of word, and the question mark indicates zero or one instance of the preceding character. In a multi-user environment, the XBCKL files or checklists can be shared, 
so any user can call them or even modify them. We can create a new checklist as personal checklist, rename the existing one or even remove them whenever necessary. The same applies to the external checklists loaded as project checklists, except for the default project checklist, which cannot be removed as it is linked to the XBB file. You would have to delete the individual entries. You can also inherit a checklist both in the personal and in the project checklist sections. Inherited checklist items cannot be modified, but they can be overridden or disabled, depending on your current needs. Imagine you want to use a specific checklist and don't want to modify it, but adapt its entries according to your current project. We'll see an example. You click on Inheritance, right-click on this area, and then select Add. We give it a name, for example, Client X. We choose the file, for example, My Client Feedback, and then click on OK. The entries will look like this. This icon indicates that it is an inherited checklist. By right-clicking on any item, we can overwrite or disable it. Let's disable this entry. We do right-click and select Disable. The QA check will not have it into account. If we overwrite an entry, we modify it so that it is adapted to what we need in this project. The external XBCKL file has not been modified by doing these actions. We have to save the XBP project because the checklist has been inherited to the project checklist. The inherited checklist can be removed by right-clicking again on this area. We can copy and paste entries from one checklist to another. For example, we copy this entry from the personal checklist and paste it in the project checklist. When performing the QA check with files loaded as ongoing translation, you can select which checklists you want to apply. By default, Xbench considers both personal and project checklists, as you can see in this check group. Also, we can run the project checklists or the personal checklists separately, using these buttons. The QA results will show any errors spotted by those checklists. Give it a try!